So the main color that is going to be in this look is one by Sugar Pill. And I absolutely love it. It's very pigmented. It's gorgeous. The color is Goldilocks, so it's that really gorgeous sparkly gold color. But what the, the colors I'm pairing it with makes it um, very wearable, even though it is fairly bright and sparkly. So there you go. Um, so yeah, um, I already have my eyelids primed with a little bit of Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So the brush that I'm using to pack the color on is just a flat little mini shader brush. This one is by Lise Poitier. Um, I wanted a bit a smaller brush as opposed to a bigger one because um, it holds the color better and um, so it packs it in the bristles so there isn't as much fallout because this is a glitter and I didn't want something big and crazy um, so I didn't want a whole bunch of fallout since I already did my foundation. So I'm just going to be packing that on the eyelid. Not dragging because we want as much color payoff as possible. So we are putting this three quarters of the way in on both eyes. So once you have laid that color down um, as um, pigmented as you want, like as dramatic as you want, um, with the tip of your brush, um, oops, I don't know why that happened, just with the top, just start blending out the color just so you don't have a harsh line because we're going for a more wearable look so we don't want any really harsh and dramatic lines especially in the inner corners of the eyes. So for the outer corner of the eyes, um, the first color we're going to be taking is the color Naked uh, in the Urban Decay Naked palette and if you don't have that just go ahead and use any light matte brown color and I'm just taking my 217 by MAC and I'm just uh, piling that product on my brush and in a circle motion applying that to the outer corner and then just dragging it in and kind of making like a C shape so just blending out and then pulling that up and then going to the other side of the eye and just doing that same motion Next color we're taking is our highlight, and um, it is from the Naked palette, so you probably guessed it. It is the color Virgin, which is the lightest color from the palette. So I'm just taking my fluffy brush that I always take from my highlight, which is my uh, Quo brush. It doesn't have a name, um, and even if it did, um, it is worn off because I use it so frequently. So I'm just packing that color on my brush and just applying it right under the brow. I'm going to have pictures up of the look. Um, I wore this makeup when I was applying for jobs. Um, so my hair was straight. So in case you're wondering why I don't look the way I do uh, in those pictures, that is the reason. So, so far you should have something like that. So to darken up the outer corner just a little bit, I'm going to be taking the color Buck now. So it's just another darker matte brown. Um, you can see the difference. This is naked and that's buck, so it's just a few shades darker. And I just really wanted to go with the matte finish um, because the Goldilocks is really sparkly. So I'm just applying that, focusing it more though, right on the outer corner. And then instead of bringing it all the way in, just blending it out just like that, just really lightly. I'm kind of pulling it just like that just up a tiny bit just to kind of give it a little bit more shape and then just going back and forth just blending the color buck into naked so then um the next color we're going to be using is probably brighter than you would have expected but like i said it's more my personality um you don't have to use this color this is just a color that's gonna brighten up the look and make it just a little bit more fun so I'm using the color Blueberry, which is this really bright blue color. Um, it's from my Krylon Viva palette. Got it at the iMats about three years ago. You can use these shadows wet or dry, but I'm just using mine dry because I don't want the color to be that pigmented and that dramatic. Um, so I'm just taking a shader brush. This one's from Annabelle, and I'm just patting that color on there and then wiping it off on my hand 
because we just want a tiny bit of product because we don't want to apply too much and then can't take it away. So once I have that, I'm applying it um, not quite in the outer corner. Um, more on the outer part of the eyelid. But that's just a very, very light amount. So that's just going to be sitting on top of the other colors. So then what I'm going to be doing is going in and blending with um, the, sh the color Buck, which was the last one that was on my brush. So I'm just going to take that and then blend that out because we don't want any harsh edges. And then blend pulling that color in also. And then with that same brush Goldilocks was on, I'm going to be blending um, those two in from the front of the eye. And then just keep blending until you get a seamless wash of color across the eye and then repeat on the other eye. So the next color we're going to be using, I'm sticking with my Krylon Viva palette only because I don't use it that often. And I've been trying to use products that I don't use very often. So the next color from the palette is the shade Walnut, which is just a dark, um, not really metallic, but it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, just a dark, almost like coffee bean brown. Um, and I'm taking just a pencil brush. This is my two something by MAC. I think maybe the 210. I don't even remember the number because their numbers never ever stay on their brushes. So just like I did before, I'm just tapping off the excess on the back of my hand because we want to build the product, not put too much, and then not to know what to do with it. So I just smudge it right by the lash line and then make like a V shape in the outer corner by just pulling that up and just darkening that whole outer portion of the eye. And then once you have that color laid there, you're going to want to go ahead and take your blending brush and just blend those colors together like so. Just so you have a nice seamless blend. And I really like just applying a dark eyeshadow along my lash line because it makes your lashes look a lot fuller. So then just apply some liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner, whatever you would like to do, to the upper lash line only. Um, I think black darkens this look too much. So then just a nice simple winged eyeliner. So then after your eyeliner is on, go up and apply a coat or two of mascara. I'm using MAC Zoom Lash just because that was what's in front of me. And I wanted some long lashes because in the pictures that I'm going to put, I'm wearing false lashes. So I just want my lashes to look really nice and long right now. So just like that. So for the face, I'm going to be doing a little bit of contour with my Matte FX Powder by Cover FX. And I'm just taking a contour brush. This is in the shade Medium because I got this product in a little mini kit thing. And it didn't come with my shade, so it is my perfect bronzing color. So it just adds a little bit of a nice contour to the face without being too much. Um, and then for blush, a little bit of Oasis by NARS because it... Um, kind of goes with the face because it has a little bit of um, a gold glitter to it. So it's just really nice and it complements my skin um, really nicely. So that's it for the cheeks. Very light and simple. So then for the lips, um, I've already had a chapstick on the entire time of the video. That's why my lips are really red compared to the way they normally are. Um, just because my lips have been really chapped lately, so I'm going to be using a lip liner. This is the color Demure, I think that's how you say it. It's number 405 by Annabelle. It's just a really nice lewd, lewd <laughs> nude skin color. So I'm just going to lightly, nothing too heavy and too bright. I'm just lightly outlining my lips with that. like so. 
So then for the rest of the lips to fill them in, I am going to be using a mix of two colors. Um, this is from my Ben Nye Creme, Cream Creme Rouge Wheel. Um, so I don't know if these are for the lips or not. Um, so this set with translucent powder, powder. I think they might be for the face, but I use them on my lips and I seem fine. So don't blame me <laughs> if something happens to you. I was fine. I'm normally fine with any product that I apply. Um on like my lips or whatever so I'm taking the dark color next to the orange just this color because it matches the lip liner pretty much perfectly so that color is just gonna go on the outer parts of the lip so just like that more And then to highlight the lips a little bit, I'm going to be taking the orange color that's next to it just to make it a little bit more fun. You could just go with that and just go with a flat color, but I don't really want to, so I'm just taking my finger for this. Um, I already washed my hands. And I'm just applying that to the center of the lip and kind of just using a blending motion and just blending the two together and then just rub my lips together. And you get something like that. Um, I'm not going to be using a lip gloss just because I don't really want to right now. Because um, they're not super drying. But you might want to keep one on your uh, in your bag or something just to be on the safe side in case it just starts drying out on you. But I'm not going to keep this makeup on for long. So um, yeah, because it's like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so this is the finished look. Featuring my only sugar pill product, which I am in love with. So those are the eyes. Cheeks have just a nice glow to them. And then the lips. Got a little bit. The side of the lip. But the lips are just really neutral, but still fun because they have that orange in them. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.